Okay, let's check out the step divider, which is a free sequencer from the probability pack. And it's super awesome, and it even uh, can work with the push very nicely. Okay, so here I have a, a drum rack. This comes with the probability pack, and I'm on Ableton Live 11, but it should be exactly the same in Ableton Live 10. Uh, you can download the probability pack directly from Ableton. If you scroll down, you'll see available packs, and you can find it there. And inside the probability pack, we can find the step divider, and I'm gonna put it before the drum rack. Nice, now the step divider is a sequencer, meaning you don't need a clip, you don't need a MIDI clip, you just hit spacebar, and it started to run. Now, here we have eight different lines, eight sequencers, uh, and each sequencer is gonna trigger a different note, and we can see that already in the drum rack, it's set up with eight different sounds here, and then we have other groups of eight sounds, and we'll see what we can do with them. Okay, so first let's uh, sequence the first pad here, and if it gives you all these notes by default, let's play that. If it gives you all of those, uh, by default, you can click Command or Control and click on that pad to change the division and then you can get to one. So click uh, to add a note and to remove a note and then we can put in, let's put here's the snare. And we add some hats. Nice, now you can hold command and click on the pad again to create some divisions. Or you can hold shift and divide it more smaller, two, three, and four. So command we can give us five, six, seven divisions and shift can give us two, three, and four. Nice. Now, something that's very cool about this sequencer is that each row here can have its own time signature. So here I can de decide how many divisions. So let's go with like 28. And how fast is each pulse? And now we have a kind of completely different, different division uh, for our kicks. We can do the same for the hats. And let's say uh, cancel. Nice. Uh, you can of course change also the notes if you want them to output to different notes in the drum rack. And you can even randomize and clear it. Now, go back to eight. Now right here you have the probability section uh, where you can add the probability of which, pa uh, which octave in the drum rack will play. So because we have all these different uh, sets of eight sounds in the drum rack, uh, we can add more probabilities so every time the kick plays, it might give us a different sound. Let's add a snare. So we can start hearing all those different All those different sounds are being created, triggered, because in the drum rack, it starts to jump up and down here, as you can see, because we have those sets of eight. So this is a drum that come with the pack, but it's very easy to make your own. Here we have the overall um, rate of the sequencer, the swing. If you want swing, uh, the key, and the scale, uh, if you're playing like a more an instrument rather than a, a drum rack. <clears throat> you can save patterns and you can even have a sequence. So if you have multiple patterns, they can automatically move between one another in all sorts of ways. Uh, so let's save this pattern here. I'm gonna go to the second pattern. Oh, let me turn off the sequence here. We can do that and do a different pattern here. Save it there. Nice enough, we turn the sequence on. It's gonna go between those two patterns. Excellent. Um, here you can do velocity range for probability, so it's gonna randomize the velocity and what's the range of the randomization. 
and it can also be controlled by the push, which is super awesome. So let's check that out. Okay, so first, let's uh, select the push, the control surface here, and we'll see the push kind of clears out, and now it represents this pattern. Uh, so let's click accent to clear everything, and repeat will be the randomizing. Let's repeat that, nice. Now each row, let's play it, each row is our sequencer. Nice, we can change the speed of the sequencer from right here. Excellent, I can start dividing the notes with shift for simple division, two, three, and four, and select for the more complex division, five, six, and seven, and eight. Let's go back to one. Nice. Now you can go inside the step divider and here you have all the controls. We can change the rate from here, add swing, change the key, change the probability. The rate of each row, then we can start seeing them moving in a separate speed. The division of each row, and which note it sends out to the drum rack. So as you can see, extremely complex sequencer, uh, especially when you set up with those drum racks with multiple octaves, with groups of eight. So much fun, check it out, free, from the probability pack. Catch you next time.